Hi there, this is Mark Haddad here. So in this uh, first lecture, we have to do the initial setup of the UDM Pro. But before we speak about how to do the initial setup of the UDM Pro, we have to understand what is UDM Pro and why we, it's important to use it in our network and what features this can uh, provide to us. So all those things I'm going to show to you in uh, this uh, lecture. So we have to first understand what is the UDM Pro and uh, why we see a lot of people do nowadays are going to buy that uh, product and why also Ubiquiti asks us to use that product. So I'll uh, show you all the details about that product and I will show you also the, the comparison between uh, this product and some other products. Then we will start uh, doing the initial setup to uh, make the first setup on the UDM Pro. So let's go directly now to uh, see what is the UDM Pro and why is it an important appliance to use. So if we go to the Ubiquiti website, ui.com, from here we can go to the Unify OS consoles. So you might come and say to you, but UDM Pro, is it a router or a console or what it is exactly? So UDM Pro is, look here, a security gateway means a router, it is a managed switch. It is also having advanced redundancy, but it is also an operating system console. So that means what? You know that once you want to deploy a unified network, you need to have a uh, console or operating system console where the unified OS, which is the operating system, is being installed. So normally, a lot of people, what they do, they just take the key, UCK, which is uh, the uh, key they use it, which is unified control key, or they can put a controller on a cloud. Or also, there is some other, uh, now the newest one, let me show it to you here, uh, if we can find it, this one, the cloud the key uh, generation number two and the plus. So those are all what we call them the console. So that means where the operating system of the Unify is being installed and where all the hardware of Unify will be adopted from that controller and then you can do all the configuration from there. So that means if you have UDM Pro, it has already Unify OS on it. So it can be the controller for you. That means if you have customers, you put for them the router, which is UDM Pro, then you have the uh, controller there. The router, which is UDM Pro, is also doing routing, doing firewalling, doing switching because it has also switch capability so yeah it's doing almost everything you need then yeah why should you not uh, go to the udm pro now let's check now about the udm pro how it looks so first of all you see that this is the price if you look at it on the uh, ubiquity website so it's 379 us dollars not very expensive and uh, uh, let's have a look now what has as a feature. So here they put for you the difference between the Unified Dream Machine Pro, which is UDM Pro, we call it, and uh, the Unified Security Gateway and Unified Security Gateway Pro. So you look at the bandwidth, the Unified Dream Machine Pro can give you up to 3.5 gigabit per second, while the others, they are much less. Now, what this UDM Pro has as application, because you know that the controller or the Unify OS is the operating system. But on this operating system, there are applications. So those applications are network, the protect, access, and talk. So Unify network, Unify protect, Unify access, and Unify talk. Those are applications that you can use them so for network in case you want to do firewalling you want to do uh, putting access point for example you need the network protect is if you are doing surveillance so you are putting cameras you need protect access is uh, someone for example I want to uh, get uh, to the door to put the code then there you need to use the access application talk is for the uh, unify phones now this udm pro get all those four applications. You will see in a moment that um, if we uh, compare it to the uh, Dream Machine, for example, the Dream Machine didn't have more than the network application. Why UDM Pro, you can have all the four applications that is that are provided by Ubiquiti. Now, if we look down, we go down here, that is a very nice picture they show you. So look at here, this is the UDM Pro. It's connected to a switch, uh, which is USW switch. Now, of course, UDM Pro has switching capability. You can see those ports are switching port, but the problem that they are not POE, so they cannot provide power over Ethernet. 
that's the problem that is on the UDM Pro. That's why you require to have a switch to uh, have a PoE, especially if you want to connect to it, access points and cameras. But look, you can put cameras, access point, and uh, you can also computers through Ethernet. You can provide Wi-Fi. So everything can be done with the UDM Pro. Now, if we scroll down over here, and this is a very nice comparison to show you, let's say here what they say, which Unify OS console is right for you. So if we go for the uh, Dream Machine Professional, you can see that what features we have here. So you can see that most of the features that are here are on the uh, UDM Pro. So like security gateway, here is yes. Dream Machine also yes. The cloud key generation to no. Firewalling, yes. Look at here, the Unify operating system application. It has all of them. While the Dream Machine, it has only the network application. And this one has all of them. It doesn't have built-in uh, Wi-Fi uh, uh, access point. It has a touch uh, screen display and also uh, Unify Smart Power. Then you have also here what's called the uh, uh, hard disk expansion bay. So HDD, that means what? If you want, for example, to use it for uh, surveillance, then you need to record those videos that are the camera giving it to you. So that means you need to have space and uh, to have this space, you need a hard disk. So we can plug hard disk inside the CDM Pro. I'm gonna show it to you in a moment when we go to the router itself. So we can see the WAN. It has one 10 gigabit SFP plus, so that's a fiber port, and one RG45 port. That is the power, how much it consumed. That is the dimension, and that is how much the weight it is. So you can see a very nice appliance. So as a summary, UDM Pro is a uh, Unify console that has the Unify uh, operating system on it. It can support the four application. It is a router. It is a switch at the same time. And it has all the, those features that we have seen it over here. So now, as we know, what is the UDM Pro? Let me show you now on my router. So I'm going to show you with a video about how it looks and how it is my router connected now. And then we have to start doing the lab. So this is my uh, UDM Pro over here. You can see it has a touch screen here. And this is the hard disk expansion that I told you about. If we open it and if we move it out, you see here you can put a hard disk. I have already put one hard disk here, HDD. So there, this is needed if we want to use the Unify Protect for the cameras to record the videos. So it's very easy You just plug it and put it there. And from here, you can see this is the WAN port, the RG45, this is the SFP. So what I'm doing now, is I'm just connecting the WAN interface to the uh, internet, and I'm connecting here, that is going to my computer. And now we need to start doing the setup to see how to connect the Unify and uh, to start uh, using it. Point number one, compare the different Unify OS consoles. And I have already done that, so we have compared it. We have seen that the UDM Pro is really much better. Now, log into the UDM Pro and do the initial setup. Before we do that, let me show you how my network is connected now. So this is my network. The one which is in the, the middle is the UDM Pro. It is connected on the WAN interface to the internet. And this internet here, there is a router providing the HTTP IP addresses. So that means this will get the HTTP uh, client IP address. And then from here, I'm connected to the interface uh, port one to the LAN. So the first thing to remember that the UDM Pro has an IP of 192.168.1.1. Always remember that. So once you have the router from the factory, then you just plug it. Then it has an IP 192.168.1.1. That means if you want to connect to it, you have to put an IP from the same range. So you can put 192.168.1.2. Now, it's not very important that you put the IP here because if you have DHCP enabled on your computer, then this router would provide him an IP of 192.168.1. something. All right, so let's now turn on my UDM Pro and see how we have to set it up. So I have powered on the, the UDM Pro appliance. Let's go to the IP 192.168.1.1. Before we do that, let me show you that my computer has already received this IP, 192.168.1.1. 3, 4. So if we make now ping to 192.168.1.1, it has reachability to the router. So we go to it and we make enter. So here is the UDM Pro. Very nice presentation they made it. And now we have to start 
doing the initial setup. First, you need to give it the uh, name. So I will say here uh, UDM Pro Course. And then I will say here Agree, and then we say Next. Now, the second step is to put your UI, Ubiquiti, uh, the uh, account over here. Very important to remember that you cannot log into the UDM Pro if you don't have an account on the Ubiquiti, because to connect to UDM Pro by default is from the cloud. So that means you need to have a Ubiquiti account. All right. Of course, we'll see later that we can make also a local user to connect to the UDM Pro locally and not from the cloud. Because some people will say, why should I connect from the cloud? Maybe it's not secure. Yeah, I understand that. But the first uh, login, you need to connect to the UDM Pro from the cloud. So I'm going to put uh, my account here and uh, log into it. So after I logged in, of course, it also it has asked for the two-factor authentication. You, you should have it also on your phone so you can log in to your account. Now the step number three is asking for the update schedule. So when do you want for this UDM Pro to be updated automatically, of course? You can say that, for example, daily at 3 a.m. So at night, uh, so it will update. But I prefer always to say disabled because if I won't ever want to um, make uh, the uh, update, I can make it myself manually. Then in case someone is using the network and it makes the update, then he will lose the connectivity. So I will say disabled for now. And then next. Now they ask you here about the configuration. Do you want to make auto optimization? So that means what? That the uh, Unify will uh, uh, the, uh, detect automatically the set and set the most uh, commonly missed uh, by vital settings to improve Wi-Fi and network performance. That's fine. And over here, if you want to send the diagnostics to the uh, Ubiquiti, then uh, I will I will leave the same as it is now, and then I will say next. Now I start doing the uh, test to see how much internet you have. So you see, this is my internet that I have at this moment. It's a bit uh, uh, low because I have uh, divided my internet, so I don't have more than this bandwidth for my office, so my family can use the internet uh, easily also. So here it makes the test for the uh, internet, for the in, uh, download and upload. So we wait for this to be finished. And over here it says to you, this is your bandwidth, 18 by 22, do you want to adjust it? You can put whatever you want. So uh, let's make it something like this, 20, 20. Of course, you can leave it as it was. That's not a problem. And then you make next. And uh, now this is uh, here the information. Of course, we should change the location and uh, the time zone is okay, but the location is not correct. We will change it uh, later. And then I will say here, finish. So now, believe it or not, you have made the initial setup on the Unify UDM Pro. Point number two is done. Point number three, check if the Unify OS and the applications, which are the four applications that we have seen them, need updates and update them. Let's first go to, so this is the uh, 1.8.1.1. Then I have to say advanced over here and accept the risk and continue. So I have to log in again. Let me log in. So here we are now. And uh, this is uh, saying how we'd like to rate. Uh, okay, I will give it five stars. And um, this is a nice product. All right, so let me submit. Very good. So now what uh, we see over here is uh, the uh, four uh, applications that I told you about, the network, the protect, the access, and the talk. Now, we can first check about the uh, appliance itself, so about the Unify OS, the console. So we have the settings and we have the users. By the way, in case you, you are anywhere, you can just click on that one, and then this takes you back to this level. All right, so let's go first about check the settings. So we go to settings, and here you can see the settings about the UDM Pro. So uh, the, the uh, owner, and here you can see there is an update available. So I'm gonna do it in a moment offline, just to win the time. Here you can see the temperature, and uh, the uh, memory, the uh, CPU, the, uh, the CPU load, also you see it over here, here the hardware, so the processor, what processor you have. So ARM64-bit 4-core, 
that is the memory and here you have the internal storage and this is the disk storage so this is my hard disk that i have put it now we go to the applications so here are the applications the network is being fully updated we have to update the protect because we are going to use protect also for this course access and talk i'm not gonna use them in this course so i'm not gonna do any update for them and then the location over here so here they say okay allow us to know where is your place so i just allow it and over here we have to put europe amsterdam so this is the time and uh, let's just do save i'm not sure if this is the right location of where i am let's have a look not really this is not my right location i guess so let's have a look no this is not uh, but anyway so uh, it's very close to where uh, i'm based but it's okay i will say now save confirm uh, confirm changes and now we, if we go to the advance over here this is very 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 important ssh secure shell so the secure shell is to be able to connect to the udm remotely using the uh, command line and uh, sometimes uh, because if you do some updates and it doesn't work you need to revert back then you can't anymore access to the uh, graphical user interface then you need to have ssh enabled so you can log in via ssh and do some changes so i will enable it now it will ask you uh, to uh, uh, put uh, the password so i'm gonna use the let's use some uh, password um, maybe the one that uh, this has given to us and then i will say here confirm so this is ssh enabled now also over here you have the remote access that means what in case you want to be able to reach to this uh, udm pro remotely from anywhere using uh, unify.ui.com you can do that so you can log into it remotely from anywhere if you don't want that if you want to just log into it locally then you have to make this one check it and to make it disabled but before you do that very important you have to create a user for local access because the username and password that you have from the cloud is only to allow you to connect to it remotely but if you want to connect to it locally that means from your lan then in this case you have to create a user to be local i'm gonna do it in a moment but here you can change the name if you want that is the automatic firmware updates here where you can do the restart power off factory reset download support file if you want to send it to the support of uh, ubiquity and yeah that's that's it that's all what you need to do now let me show you how you can create the user locally so from here we have to uh, go back to the local portal and from here we have to go to users and you can see this is the account that i have which is active and this is for uh, the cloud so from here we have to go to add admin and then from here add admin employee id it's not important here, over here just put here i want to use this one to be super admin and then we have to say local access only you see local access only then over here now you can put the uh, the username and password or the uh, first name and uh, last name so let's do for example test test employee id we don't do anything so this is super admin a local username let's make it test password test one two three for example all right and then i will say here add so it's local access only very good so now you have it over there so if you want now you can switch off the remote access so you can connect to that one only locally but again if you have a problem and you want to reach it if you are not locally in the LAN, then you cannot reach it huh? so it's very important to remember that point number three is done so i have already made the updates for the applications that are all fully updated now and uh, i have updated also the unify uh, os so i have done that uh, offline to win time and uh, point number four also is done we have made the ssh enabled and we have created the local user so in case we want to connect to the unify 
um, Dream Machine Pro, then we can also connect to it locally from the user that I have created. So this is uh, the first uh, lecture on uh, this course speaking about how to do the initial setup, but also we have uh, we're gone through all the process about what is uh, the UDM Pro and uh, we have compared it to other uh, appliance and we have seen what is the benefit uh, to use the UDM Pro. So I hope that this lecture was informative for you and I'll see you in the upcoming lecture.